Like I did good for me, but not good for here. Like tire flip sucks. You said you're one of the four amateurs this year. Well, I'm like one of the four guys who hasn't been the world's strongest man before, so that's huge. So that gives you a chance to experiment with the big guys. Yeah, pretty much. Like this is a good test to see where the bar's at. Like I always say, a little below that, but I need to get better. You want to try this again next year? Absolutely. So how about your arm there? Is that going to impede you for another little while, or is that just temporary? Well, I don't know. We'll find out. Nice bruise. Go to physio tomorrow. How I think you treat I tore that? the sheath on it. I'm not sure. You put ice packs on that? Uh, yeah. So how are you? Uh, are you competing? Uh, when's your next compete? This weekend in Duberville, five days. Duberville, you're training. Days. You're training now and going to do in five days. Yep. Wow. Another professional competition. It's two days. Uh, How many pretty heavy here? weights, guys from all over Canada and the States. So. Again, it's another U.S. and Canadian event? Yeah, not so many Americans. I think there's only one or two this year. How long has this event happened? Is this new there? Eighth year. Eighth year in Duberville. Small little French town. They pay a ton of money for uh, people to come and compete there. So. Wow. You were in Quebec City recently. How did that go? It went really well. It's my first time at Canada's Strongest Man. I ended up placing eighth out of 12, which was very satisfying. So beat the other two guys from Ontario, so I was really happy with that. So you're currently the third in Ontario and eighth in Canada? Yeah, for 2009. And this place is you currently 12th out of uh, in North America? You could say it like that, yeah. I was hoping to be you know, a little bit better, but uh, you know, it is what it is. I only got last on I think one event, so not horrible. My goals were not to be last and not to hurt myself. You know, hurt myself and it looks like I'm going to be last, so you know, I never know what happens, but just who, do the best you can. Who are some of your sponsors? you have a supplement program? Uh, one of my main sponsors is iFathom. They're a uh, you know, software development and uh, staffing company. Uh, they've been really good to me. They help me out with my website and uh, you know they give me some cash if I do well, stuff like that. And I got two other sponsors, uh, supplementsource.ca, in the back of my hat here, they provide all my supplement needs, you can hook you up with anything you want, and uh, Scare Construction is also one of my sponsors as well. Oh, it's fantastic. Is there anybody out there you want to say thank you to? Thanks to my wife and kids and uh, my wonderful family who supports me uh, through everything I do. That's congratulations, Luke Scarf's going to be a new father in the upcoming day, so we want to watch his career and see how he moves. Thank you very much.